are preparing to evacuate the Earth. Special team members fulfill their mission to leave, hidden underground the complete library of all human knowledge. Here, all fiction and non-fiction books are stored in an alphabetical and numerical ordering system. But, an important volume is missing, and the desperate search for it leaves the library team leader stranded in a broken down bookmobile to remain spellbound in space and continuing time. 98 years later, in 2221, the users, a technologically advanced species, set up a communications base on Earth. The younger users begin to study human culture. It is now 2223. Elder Tesla, look. of the metal indicators. It seems as if we have enough of those already. But this one may prove useful. Perhaps. Catalog it as Varian and Athos have cataloged the others of its kind. Yes, Elder Tesla. Remarkable, Athos. The print in these bound paper sheets is readable, just as it is on the display terminal. But the words remain affixed to the sheets of material. They never disappear. It's permanent. It's primitive. These so-called books do not allow for instant information access like this. Books, written or printed sheets of paper bound together between covers. Use of a form of information storage used on Earth. Now that is efficient information retrieval. That was retrieved from a limited database. We have only the knowledge from these two books to enter as data input. Based on the two books we have discovered, I question that explanation. Books, use of, a form of information storage used on Earth. Yes, that is accurate. This book, The History of Wipers on Earth, stores much information about the activities of wipers. Yes, but consider this book. Cinderella? Does this sound like information? Don't cry, Cinderella. The fat mouse named Gus begged her. We'll help you get ready for the prince's ball. All the birds and mice cheered. Strange. The birds and mice on Earth now do not seem to speak or understand the language. That is precisely the point, Athos. These are not facts. Could some human have invented this story? Not true information? Could some human have invented Cinderella out of her own, out of her own mind? An invented story? An invented story? Perhaps there is an explanation in the language program. Invented story, made up, called fiction. Tells of imaginary people and happenings, the opposite of nonfiction, which refers to books based on fact. It appears you could be correct, Abacus. There are invented stories. But what is the value of a book that isn't true? It must have been of value to the humans. We know so little about Earthlings, and without their power sources, so much of what they left behind is unknown to us. That's why the books could be so useful. So, the Earthlings had non-fiction for factual knowledge and fiction for stories invented out of their own minds. They must have had a great number of books. These two are not an adequate database. Hello, Pixel. What have you there? In addition to your project collection. Bookmobile stops here. Book 
mobile. The earth word mobile means moving, movable. Perhaps they had moving books that traveled from place to place. I'd prefer to hear the language program's definition. I must go, Aphos. I have watch now. Bookmobile, a vehicle which serves as a traveling library. Library? Library, a collection of books. A place in which a collection of books is kept. The Earthlings did have many books. And they had this special place, a library, to keep them. Where did you find the sign? On the outskirts of the evacuated settlement. Perhaps if we return there... Our present information indicates that there may be many more of these books in that area. They are certain to contain much information that could be very useful to us. I will inform Grandmother Tesla that we will leave for the site at 1300 Lunans. That will give us enough time to gather the necessary supplies. I shall obtain the food supply. Get enough for everyone, Lidar, not just yourself. Wipers found and destroyed all the books? A possibility. But if there were thousands of books, I doubt that a species as lazy as the wipers could find and destroy them all. They were probably too occupied destroying communication centers. I doubt if they even know what books are. Aphos, is this the place where you found the metal indicator? The navigational computer indicates that this is the general vicinity. We'll search the area. Lidar, you come with me. Barry, and take Abacus. For. There's a door over there. Aphos, this is Abacus. We have made a significant discovery. Our location is approximately 25 meters to your star rise, enclosed in thick foliage cover. I see books. Could this be a complete database? What is it, Abacus? Observe. Remarkable, is it not? Wait, there's a presence in there. A wiper? I don't think so. The presence resembles our own species. Is it metabolizing or has it ceased? Open the door. She's metabolizing. But so slowly, she's nearly ceased. She may be a human. But our computer survey confirmed that there has not been a human on this planet for over 100 star cycles. Perhaps we were wrong. Who is she? How do we revive her? Do not be afraid, for I am the question mark which lives in your dreams. The universal being. Wizards of wonder are the keepers of knowledge. Open the book that lies peacefully slumbering. You mean the Earthling? For 100 years, her soul has been quiet. She is a librarian. A librarian? The key to a thousand tomes. An expert in the care and knowledge of books. Where wisdom and 
fantasy find their homes. Can you activate her? Oh, she'll wake up. If. If? If you do. Indeed, if you wake up to the knowledge that surrounds you, first you must find a book. That should not be difficult. Books surround us. But the right book. The right book? Yes. Can you possibly tell us something about the right book? Certainly. Specific knowledge must be retrieved from a book of powerful gifts. The first, the unconscious, will release. A memory of clouded victory follows. Hold an ancient charm to the beam. Speak the name of power as the four children in the story invented by E. Nesbitt. Wait! Is that the extent of what he will tell us? And I thought I was actually going to get to speak to an Earthling. The universal being did give us words that may have meaning. Let's listen. In the story invented by E. Nesbitt. Did we not discover what an invented story is? An invented story is called fiction, remember? which seems to indicate all the books in this section. We'll have to search every book in here until we find the one about the children and the charm. Perhaps the Earthlings had a system for storing and locating a specific book. These do not seem to be in counting sequence. I wonder why they all have Earthling letters on the outside. And they all have names, just like the two back at the base. Look at all the letters at the bottom. F A L C. F-B-A-B, F-B-L-U, F-C-L-A. Wait, do you notice something? There may be an order. The first letter seems to follow the Earth alphabet. A, B, C. Yes, all the A's come first, then all the B's, and C's, and so on. When the first letter is the same, they use the second letter. First comes B-L, then B-Y. But the names of these books in this fiction section are not in alphabetical order. Here is Henry Huggins right before Burnish Me Bright, and H does not come before B. Let's hear the universal being's words again. In the story invented by E. Nesbitt. Is E. Nesbitt the name of the earthling who invented the story? Do the three letters stand for the name of a person who invented a story? Precisely. Look here. Here's a book with the letters N-A-P and the name Napier, and another book with the letters N-A-S and the name Nash. They have alphabetical order according to the inventor's last name. And they all have Fs on them. F is the first letter in the word fiction. Could F stand for fiction? F. N E S. Here it is, E Nesbit. Do you think this is the book of powerful gifts? The clue said the first was unconscious release. The story of the amulet. Amulet, a good luck charm. Book Abacus. Nobody can continue to live in a land and in a time not appointed, said the voice of glorious sweetness. But a soul may live if in that other time and land there be found a soul so akin to it as to offer it refuge. I think she's awakening. Who are you? I thought everyone had evacuated. I'm so hungry. Do you have anything to eat? Who are you? Where did you come from? What day is this? I think you've been entranced. For a hundred planet cycles. Who are you? Where are those headbands you're wearing? Where did you come from? Our solar system is that of Alpha Centauri. We are users, recently come to establish a communication base. Oh, I 
really been asleep for 100 years? What year is this? Information left by the Earthlings indicates that it is near the year you would call 2223. Then it has been 100 years. How do you know my language? Our headbands allow for instant language translation. We have no problem with any language yet encountered in this galaxy. What else can you do? Have you read the planet of Wipers? Unfortunately, our ancient enemy, the Wipers, continue to inhabit the Earth. Ancient enemy? I heard Grandmother Tesla tell stories of how we faced and vanquished the Wipers many star cycles past in another solar system. That is not confirmed factual information. We need not concern ourselves with hearsay. Now, we are unfamiliar with wiper waves. That is why we seek earthling knowledge of the wipers, so we may stop their civilization. They are unintelligent and destructive. So they haven't changed. We understand from the universal being that you are an expert of books. Well, I suppose you could say that. Could you tell us more about these books? Well, of course, there's a lot I can show you. Books on art, animals, science, tools. Books about the lives of great people who helped to make our planet a better place. Biography. What is that? A biography is a book about a person's life. True stories about people who really lived. They appear to be in alphabetical order, like the fiction books. Biographies are on the shelves in almost the same way as fiction books. They do use alphabetical ordering, but not by the book inventor's name. Book inventor? Oh, you must mean the author. The writer of a book is its author. No, biographies are kept on the shelves in alphabetical order, according to the last name of the person about whom the book is written. C, Amelia Earhart, an aviator, Albert Einstein, one of the world's greatest scientists. They are here with the E's for Earhart and Einstein. What was that? Hurry, get away from the window. Hurry, maybe wipers. Get down, be still. 